This is Dwayne. And this is Jeffrey. And welcome back to Ferret Facts. And today, we are going to talk about some ferret toys and other general accessories, as well as scruffing, because I understand that some people are very worried about scruffing their ferret, that they're afraid it's going to cause them harm. Um, do you want to lead off with that, or should we wait till last? Um, sure, we can lead off with that. So, we had a comment from a viewer who was particularly worried about scruffing your ferret. And we want to emphasize again that this does not hurt the ferret. Okay, we're gonna add a clip into this video showing how these two play, and you'll notice that when one of them does something that the other one really doesn't like, they scruff each other. And you really can't see that if you have just one ferret like most of our viewers do. But we have two, so it's kind of a little more insight into how they actually act. And so we just wanna emphasize again that right here, you just have a little extra skin that you grab and you scruff them. And this is what scruffing is. Now see, he's not in a lot of pain. Um, I'm supporting his feet a little bit because he hasn't really done anything wrong. Um, but it doesn't cause him any pain. He just knows that he's doing something that he's not supposed to. And along with that, um, so say your ferret bites you, that's typically a common thing. Um, you're just gonna scruff him for a minute and like you can like look at him, bring up that eye level, um, and then just set him back down. So you're only scruffing him for like two to three seconds normally. Um, if you watched our last video, you can see that we scruffed them a lot longer than that because we were trimming some nails. Are you satisfied? And also speaking of ferret health, we were, uh, not, I think just yesterday we were at Petco, and if they're being so bad that they just, scruffing them isn't working, we put them in their cage. Yeah, and it's kind of like a little timeout, so you don't want to, like, put them in there and leave them forever, like, if they're, like, playing around and, like, they keep biting you, you can try to put them in their cage for a couple minutes, kind of like a timeout, um, because they don't want to be in their cage. Yeah. They want to run wild. And you also need to make sure that you're making it a punishment, because they also scruff each other to play. And so make sure that there's, there is a difference between scruffing for play and scruffing because they're in trouble. And, like, scruffing for play is just, like, quick little pulls and picking on them and picking on their back end. But when they're in trouble, it's a it's a long held, and you kind of you can like shake them a little bit and then out. All right, I think that's enough on scrapping. You guys yeah. want to talk about toys, don't you? Toys. So as you can see, we have a wide assortment of toys, um, but I'm not gonna start with that. I'm actually gonna move on to one of the first things you should get is a harness for your ferret. Definitely. And my suggestion on a harness is one that has Velcro because. The, the harnesses that we have, they have clips and velcro, but, like, because they don't necessarily like to hold still, <laughs> uh, mostly when you're trying to put it on them, and so the velcro just makes it quicker and easier instead That's of trying to... That's actually Jeffy. No, it's me. Uh-uh, it's going to use red, remember? Oh. They do come in sizes. Jeffrey right here is a medium, whereas Dwayne is a large, and currently this guy is trying to put Jeffrey's little medium harness onto big Dwayne over here. But yeah, so just my suggestion is a Velcro one. Um, the buckles are fine. I don't, I, my sister just has a Velcro one. That's how I learned that Velcro is really nice. Um, Cause my first one was one that had just clips on it and it was really hard to get my ferret in it. But once you get them in it, typically they're pretty good. Um, Cause you just, they can slip out of them. So if you are walking on, make sure you pay attention to that. Okay, back to the fun stuff. Yeah. So we have toys. Which toys do you want to start with? Well, we can start with the trashier ones and move up to okay. the... I was going to let Dwayne select. <laughs> Dwayne select. Well, I know one of Dwayne's favorites is this plastic water bottle. Now, it's trash. And it was round at one point. It was round. But they really love chewing on this. I mean, he just goes after it. I mean, we'll be laying in bed some nights and we'll leave him out for a little bit and you'll just hear crunch, crunch, crunch. And they're chewing on this water bottle. And we find this a better um, thing for them to chew on than, say, something we care about, like our phone cords, the couch. So we leave these out around the house in a few designated areas. And, oh, see, look, Jeffrey's already like, I'm, I'm taking it. It's mine. Yeah, he wants to take it to his hiding spot. Yeah, they're going to take it to their hiding spot. And they'll hide their toys and their probably spots you can't get to or anything. And that that's just their place to have their toys. Oh. See, they, they really like this water bottle. They like anything plastic. And These I, guys do anyway. Yes, and um, 
I just wanted to recap on another one of our videos that their jaws are so strong. There's holes throughout this, and I mean, if I can get well, there, there was one I was and, completely yeah, if I can that. get Jeffrey here to like grab onto it again, you can pick them up whole body by just what they're grabbing onto, and it's really quite amazing. So yeah, water bottles. We also have like a Powerade bottle, so they're not they're not picky on what bottle you get. They'll chew on it. I think they like the the crunchy noise. Yeah. Um. And so next, we, let's move on to stuff that actually like makes. It. So, pretty sure it's a cat toy, but like this is our little frog, and it makes noise. And we have our little duck, which also makes a squeak. Ooh, look, here's a frog. <laughs> and they love the squeaky. See, this is how strong they are, and I mean, they just love their squeaky toys and. They love to play with them and try and run off with them. They always run off and hide them. Yes, always. I didn't think about that part too. <laughs> kind of like this ball. I've only seen this ball like four times since we got it. And that's because they take it and they run off and we don't see them for, we never see the ball again. Huh, Dwayne, you like your ball? It's like, I want the duck. <laughs> but yeah, so, but they do kind of play that, oh. ooh. He and hissed. if you can hear the hissing on the, he's doing it again. He loves this ball. That hissing is him saying to Joe that this is mine and you better back off. He's like, let go. <laughs> and th that can also be used in other contexts. So if your ferret's hissing at you, that's not him saying, oh, let's play. That's saying, I don't like this. I don't like that. You are hissing. He's <laughs> like, I like my ball. And, and Dwayne is particularly grumpy when we try and take his favorite toys. And, and so snacks. when he hisses at you and if they hiss and try and bite you, that is when you need to scruff them. That's when you need to get on them because that is not okay. Your ferret should not be biting you. The only time that they should be biting you, and this is if you allow it, is when you're playing. Yes. And so moving on from like the ball, dog treats, well these are all mostly dog treats and or cat. And cat. But is <laughs> like the tire they don't normally like the tire a whole lot. And we think it's because they don't really like the taste of the tire. However, they oh, like the uh, rope part. Yeah, they like the rope. Um, oh. And like this is just another dog toy that we kind of we're kind of getting the quick chewing on. Yeah, this couch. is supposed to be a puppy chew toy, and it's chicken flavored, but they really haven't had a lot of interest in this one until now, mm -hmm. of course. So among the other things we have for our ferrets, we have a big black tube that they absolutely love to crawl through. Um, as Jeffrey's demonstrated. So we just, so we have, uh, it's just a piece of uh, water tube, like that yeah, you run hoses through and stuff like that. You can get them at generally like Home Depot and Lowe's are the big ones. Walmart also supplies them. Um, you can buy like, like specific like ferret tubes, but those are like generally like 20 to $30. Mm, yeah. Whereas you can go to Home Depot, for example, and get, um, we found the four inch tube is actually a lot better than a three inch tube which is what typically they are but you get like a 10 foot one eight to ten foot uh tube for like five six dollars six bucks yeah and you find them pretty cheap and the ferrets just love to play with them um we normally just leave it sitting in the hallway and jeffrey was going to come out again come here bud but they just run around like crazy through it um they love to play in it um, one will run through and the other one will run down to the other end and stop them as you'll see here in a second. <laughs> All right, so we also wanted to talk about in this video more on training your ferret and so the way we started out with training them is shaking a bag so we have some of their favorite treats um, these are both in tubes but uh, there's a lot of bag treats that you can get um, so we'll just <gasps> look a Jeffrey the like, mommy where's my treat no oh look Dwayne. But they absolutely just love treats and so like you can train them to the bag um, and then you can use like their knowledge of treats and then you can start uh, you can start like either train them to their like names 
or like just like to general other talking. Oh, I got him a treat. I think that's all we have for this time. So, same. Oh yeah, so I guess we'll see you next time. So, hopefully your ferrets are, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, please, please subscribe and leave a comment and we will address that on our next video. So thank you and have a great day. Alright boys, take all your toys back to your back to the caves of which they came. Not the flashlight, Jeffrey. No. It's the first time I've actually heard him squeak it. <laughs>